Hi guys, me again. Just going to take you through your two point perspective sketching this time. Still using a sharp pencil and a straight edge. And you're going to start by drawing your horizon line horizontally across the page. And then you're going to add a vanishing point at either end of the line this time. So we've got two vanishing points and I'm labeling them VP1 and VP2. Hopefully my camera focuses. There we go. And as we remember from doing one point perspective, we start by drawing a 2D shape with one point perspective, but with two point, we're going to start by drawing a leading edge. So it's literally just a vertical straight line. And you can draw that either on the horizon line, so through the middle here, below it or above the horizon line. And that'll give you different perspectives and different angles of boxes. So I'm going to start by sketching my leading edge through the horizon line. And then the top and bottom of that line, I need to join to both vanishing points. And what you're going to end up with is a slightly rhombus looking shape. So making sure that you're using your straight edge to join from the top to the vanishing point. Nice and neatly. You can still use that swinging technique that we used during the one point perspective. So making sure you anchor down. And now we just need to add the sides of this box. So I'm going to do a slimmer front and a longer back so that you've got more of a rectangular box shape happening with this one. So because this is on the horizon line, you'll only see the front two faces. You won't see the top or the bottom because it's on your eye level. And then once we're happy with our final shape, we can just darken that in. So with this one, you're only going to see the front two sides because it's right on our eye level. We're not looking at the top or the bottom of the box in this case. So just darkening that in. I'm going to jump straight to sketching above or below the horizon line. So you'll see there's already an example above the horizon line to demonstrate how you can see the underneath of the box. This one we're going to be able to see the top of the box. So drawing that leading edge to start with and joining the tops and bottoms to each vanishing point. doesn't matter what position you put this in on the page, whether it's left, right or centre, above, below or on the horizon line. Either way, you're going to get different shapes and sizes and angles of boxes. Now that I've joined those to the vanishing points, I'm just going to add in my two sides that are missing, so the back edges of the box. And in this case, because it's below our eye level or horizon line, we're going to be able to see the top of the box. So we need to cross these over to the vanishing points they're not already joined to. So the tops of those lines are just drawn in, joined to the opposite vanishing points. And there we have our final box shape and you can darken that in with a little outline as well. An easy way to remember which vanishing points you need to join to is just to double check if the top of that line or bottom of that line is already joined to a vanishing point then you don't need to join it to that one you just join it to the one it's not already attached to. And I'm going to show you how to do a cutout similar to what we did when we did the one point perspective cutout box. I'm going to do that on our box at the top of the page here and I'm just going to sketch my firstly my leading edge for the cutout and the back edge of it and then I'm going to join the bottom of that line obviously to my vanishing point two because it's on the right hand side of the box and also the top of that line to vanishing point two and that's going to give me the top and bottom of my cutout shape making sure that those lines are in perspective. Because I can see the underneath of the box, I'm going to be able to see the underneath of the cutout as well. And that top right corner needs to join to the opposite vanishing point to show that. So I'm going to draw that in just now, making sure it's joined to VP1. And because it's not going to be seen when it's covered by that front edge, I'm just going to stop when I hit the edge of the cutout. And I'm going to darken that in to show you the final shape. And that's the only corner you would see because we're looking up into the cutout in this case. We can also add shapes on using this same sort of technique and I'm going to show you how to do that on this bottom box. So I'm going to draw my leading edge to start with which is going to be the start of my piece that I'm adding on and I'm joining the top and bottom of that to vanishing point two and extending the lines out the way to give me the length of it and then making sure the other side of that is parallel with the first line I drew. Now, with these four corners, what I'm going to need to do is project from vanishing point one. So rather than join to it, I'm going to project out from those corners, making sure I'm in line with vanishing point one. So I'm almost adding little extensions to those corners. That's going to allow me to create a shape which protrudes from the shape rather than cuts in. And the corner of that, I'm going to need to join to vanishing point two to give me my depth. 
and then I'm going to join that parallel down and then the corner that's left can join up to vanishing point two to give me the bottom edge of that. And then we can darken in that outline to show the final shape of the little box that we've added on to the front. So we can cut, add cut out shapes but we can also add shapes onto our boxes in perspective too and I'm just going to shade that in so you can see clearly what that final shape looks like as it's been added on to the side of the box there. And that's you for two point perspective. Have a little go at your basic shapes as well as cutouts and add-ons and show me your work when you're done.